Hi guys, really quickly, I just wanted to remind you about expanded form. We've got my son over here, he's eating his dinner in the background, so don't mind him. <laughs> he's, he has to learn expanded form too, yay! Okay, so just as a reminder, expanded form is when we see a number and we pull it apart into the chunks that it's worth. So that may be a little bit confusing, so let me show you. I've got an example that I'm gonna use my cups with and an example that I'm going to use some paper with. I did some fancy paper folding and we have these cups that my husband likes to put milk in for Oreos from the Dollar Tree and then my little chalkboard pens that write on it and erase really easily. So I had some fun figuring out how to teach this to you without the manipulatives I have at school. So we're patient, we're flexible, we figure it out. Here we go. So expanded form is when we see a number like this. This is 71,477, okay? That's when we pull it apart into what each number is worth. So expanded form of 71,477, this is the standard form. The expanded form, I would pull it apart and it would be 70,000 because that's in the that's in the 10,000s place. So this is 70,000 plus. Now I wanna show you really quick, I underline the zeros. Here's a really cool thing you're going to notice. This number here, I just have to add the number of zeros for each of the numbers behind it. So there's one, two, three, four numbers behind it. So I just have to add four zeros to that seven to make it 70,000. Isn't that a cool little trick? So it's 70,000 plus 1,000 because it was in the thousands place. And I know there's a little bit of a glare there. If I hold it up better, it's easier. 1,000 plus, and now this four is in the hundreds place. So this is going to be 400. It's worth 400. So this is 400 plus this seven is in this is in the tens place. So it's worth seven tens, seven of those 10 sticks. So if we count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, that's 70 plus, and this is seven little ones. So that's expanded form. When we take the number and we pull it apart into what each of those numbers are worth in their spots. So, and you'll notice it's really cool how the zeros work with this. Let's see, hold on, I didn't put it back in the right order. <laughs> the numbers wouldn't work. I have my 400 and there's two numbers behind it, seven and seven, you okay, Bubby? He's eating little yogurt drops, he loves them. So there's these two numbers behind there, so that means there's going to be two zeros. There they are to make my 400. Isn't that cool? I love place value, and lots of patterns. Now we can also think of it on this paper here. And this number you can see, and actually maybe I'll start with my smaller number first. This is 4,376 and now I can pull it apart. Now before I pull it apart, do you notice how upset he is? It's because he ran out of his yogurt drops. So I'm gonna give him a few yogurt drops. They're really yummy, you guys. And he has to have dairy every day, you know, the food pyramid and eating the right food groups like Mrs. Drager talks about. So he's got these yummy little yogurt drops here. They're like flash dried yogurt drops. They're so good. They're tasty. Here you go, Bubby. This kind is strawberry. Yum. Okay, so I have my 4,376 and I'm going to pull it apart. Now, when I pull it apart, six ones stays six ones. But now I've got seven tenths. Oh, it's the same last number. That's 70. Three hundreds is 300. And four thousands would be four thousands. And notice that the four here has three zeros. And there are one, two, three numbers behind it. That's the three zeros. Okay, and we put this plus sign in between. Because if we add 4,000 plus 300 plus 70 plus six, we would get the number 4,376. So one more really quick. This is 28,021. I wanted to show you what it looks like with a zero. Okay, there's a zero right here, 28,021. So if I pull it apart, this is in the 10 thousands. That means there's two 10 thousand sticks. So I have 20,000. There's eight thousands, well, not sticks, you guys, they're blocks but I like to think of six. There's eight thousands, so I have eight thousand. Oh, somebody's out of yogurt drops again. Plus, I didn't have any hundreds, so you actually put zero. There's nothing in the hundreds. Plus 
two tens, which is 20, plus one. So now I've got 20,000 plus 8,000 plus zero, and you just leave the zero there, plus 20 plus one. If I add it together, yeah, if I add it together, I can make the number that I started with. Here you go, buddy. We'll let him chew on this spoon. I've got 20,000 plus 8,000 plus no hundreds plus two of those 10 sticks, so 20, plus one little one, we have those little tiny cubes in class, would be 28,021. So that's how expanded form works. You're just pulling it apart, like how cool that is, into what each number in that, I guess each place value in that number is worth like the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, okay? So have fun with your work today on place value, and I hope that helped jog your memory a little bit. That's something that you guys did towards the very beginning of the year, so I know that it's something that you haven't done in a while, okay? You say bye? Can you say bye? Say sorry I yelled while you were doing math, but I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah, you have your spoon. He says bye. We're working on waving. We'll get it. Okay, guys. See you later.